Hello beautiful, this is Joana Saira with a bonus video inspired by dancers from all over the world and especially dedicated to the participants of the free webinar launched by Joana Saira's World Egyptian Dance Through the Eyes of an Egyptian Musician. I'm so excited to um, co-create this webinar with the Ab Nasser, a very talented professional Egyptian musician I have worked with and this video has been thought for uh, the participants of our webinar and basically for everybody who loves Egyptian dance and it has to do with the character of each instrument. If you want to become an oriental dancer and if you want to become a more interested, interesting human being, I suggest you start listening to music from a more detailed, deep point of view. In Egyptian dance, there are different skills that you have to develop. One of them is the ability to listen, listen in depth. And one of the aspects of listening for the sake of Oriental dance or Egyptian dance is the ability to understand that each instrument has its own character, its own mood, its own color, like a different personality. So a tabla has its own taste, its own flavor, its own energy. It's a kind of person. A violin or kamanga, it's also a different character, a different taste, a different flavor, a different smell. Anun, nay, each one have their own personality. When you listen to an Egyptian musical piece, are you able to listen to each instrument? Moreover, when you listen and dance to an Egyptian musical piece, are you able to listen and to interpret each instrument honoring their own character and taste and flavor and identity? What is a tabla for you? What is a kamanga for you? How does a, a nun or a nay or uh, an accordion sound to you? What kind of characters do these instruments represent? So for me, a tabla, it's like a very cocky, very masculine, macho man kind of guy. <laughs> you know, tabla is joyful, it's external, it's communicative, it's a little dry, you know, it doesn't feel much, but it parties a lot. It's that kind of guy that arrives to a party and brings the house down. A violin is a very passionate, romantic, intense, emotionally dramatic person. <laughs> Anun, it's a very subtle, very delicate person. It is like a whisper, like the wind. It pulls us in and it pulls us upwards. It's like a flower, like a garden. It brings images of subtlety and beauty and delicate movement and delicate feelings. The accordion is a hot mama. <laughs> the accordion is an energy and a character of earth, of the womb, of food, of nurturing, of going inside. It's that kind of person that embraces you. It's a bosom. It's the hips. The accordion, it's the mother. It's the return to the house, the return home, the return to our center. It's an invitation to go in and find ourselves within our womb. The nay is a sound that elevates us. The nay is a darwish, is a Sufi dancer. The nay is light, it's very sophisticated. It's spirit or spiritual. Every instrument has a personality. Every instrument has a character and a mood and a predominant feeling. The ability to identify and to interpret those specific characters and feelings will make you a real oriental dancer. It's not only about the movement 
It's about knowing what to listen and how to listen and what you are listening to and how you're going to use all that beauty. So in this bonus video, what I'm inviting you to do is to start listening more attentively. And when you do, I will propose an exercise that I share with my students. You are going to write down each instrument that you identify in a musical piece that you're going to choose and characterize that instrument. Tell yourself what kind of person, if that instrument was a person, that instrument is. What kind of colors, flavors, characteristics, feelings, attitudes does that instrument suggest to you? Is that happy? Is that sad? Is that red? Is that white? Is that a happy, nice person? Is that a sleazy guy? <laughs> Use your imagination, your intuition, and your ears. As I mentioned in my first published book, The Secrets of Egypt, Dance, Life, and Beyond, there are three gates that you have to cover in order to get into the magic of Egyptian dance. The first gate is your ears, listening. So start listening now and have fun doing this exercise. If you want to know more about this subject and so many other fascinating subjects on Egyptian dance, personal discovery and empowerment, make sure you visit Joanna Seyda's Online Dance School and Joanna Seyda's World. All the information in the description box below this video. And of course, subscribe to the channel and click your notifications on so that you know when I share new content. I'm always sharing beautiful stuff with the world, so make sure you're the first one to know. I will see you somewhere around the world at my private online coaching or at Juana Seyda's Online Dance School. Until then, receive my love and a kiss.